Hi everyone, my name is Abisha and I'm a member of the Xero Developer Evangelist team. I'm here to talk about two new sample apps that will help you build the often confused sign up with Xero functionality for your app and its certification process. This video is a continuation of Lee's video which looks at the two types of sign up with Xero. If you haven't checked them out already, please do so now. But today we'll have a look at how sign up with Xero using the recommended flow should work. If you're looking to build a Xero certified app, users must be able to sign up with Xero. We've created two sample apps which demonstrate what an app should do. The first sample app uses a standalone sign up button with no open ID packages to add sign up with Xero to your app. So this might be useful if you only want to add sign up or if your app has the same URL for both sign in and sign up. The second option provides both sign in and sign up capabilities, and this is done by using an open ID package which allows separate authentication schemes to be attached for sign in and sign up respectively. So this might be useful if your application has a separate kickoff point for both sign in and sign up. The sample app has been built to use a recommended flow for sign up with Xero along with the .NET SDK. The app allows users to sign up with Xero by clicking this button and we're redirected to the Xero login page. Once we enter our user credentials like I do and I click the login button, in the background the app's client ID, scopes and redirect URI are attached to the identity server URL. So Xero knows exactly what app you are trying to connect to your Xero account. Once we've done this, we are redirected to this page which asks us what organizations we want to connect to our demo app. I've already connected all three, so I'm going to click continue. Once we do this, in the background, Xero will redirect to that redirect URI that you provided in your app configuration with the temporary authorization code, which is later exchanged for the access token. The app can then use the tokens profile information about the user to automatically create a new user in the local database. Finally, our application will then make calls to the Xero API to fetch information about the currently connected organization's account information and contact information. To better understand how the app works, let's see what happens after the Xero Identity Server redirects us back to the callback route. So when the Xero Identity redirects, we actually invoke this callback function within the authorization controller. And here we pass in two parameters, the code and the state. The code refers to that temporary authorization code we discussed earlier. And you can see right here that we use that to obtain our zero token, which contains our access token, ID token, and the refresh token. The state is just used to check if any cross-site request forgery attacks are occurring. So once we've got our token, uh, we then use the ID token, which is what contains information about the user. So their email name, user ID, and we construct a new user and we register them to our local database, which just means that we're creating a new entry in our database for that particular user. Then we sign them in using our local cookie authentication scheme. So we just create a new cookie to say that we're now authenticated and we redirect back to the home controller. And within the home controller, we perform some API calls to fetch details about the currently connected organization. And that's what's rendered on your page when you run the application. At a high level, the sign up and sign in app works similarly to the sample app before. So once the user clicks on either options, the app will redirect to their respective redirect URI. Because we're already authenticated, we weren't prompted to enter our zero credentials and instead we come to this page, which asks us which organizations we want to connect to our sample app. And I've already got all three, so I'm going to click continue. But now that we're authenticated, the authentication scheme within our sample app will automatically store access tokens and ID tokens. Leveraging this, we can then use the identity details to automatically create a new user in the local database and then once we hit this page, similarly to before, our app will make calls to the Xero API to get information about the currently connected organization's accounts and contacts. Because the second sample app uses Microsoft's OpenID Connect package, the way that the authentication works is a little bit different. So within our startup.cs file, we actually register two separate authentication schemes, namely Xero Sign In and Xero Sign Up. They're both point to the zero identity server, 
But the key difference is that the callback path is different. And the callback path here points to our application's configured sign in and sign up route. So what happens is when a user clicks on the sign in or sign up button, they try and invoke this function, but because we've specified that the user must be authenticated by a specific scheme, they are redirected to the zero identity server where they will authenticate and enter their zero credentials. Once that's successful, they can continue with this function. One key difference is that Microsoft will actually handle the setting of the token after authentication. So you don't need to send the temporary request authorization code to fetch your access tokens. So we just obtain the tokens, then we register the user in our local database, and then we redirect back to that home controller. And then the flow is the same as that first sample app. Thanks for watching. I hope the sample apps help you accelerate your certification process in becoming a certified Zero app partner. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us via API at Zero.com or by applying for the program via our developer portal at developer.zero.com. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and follow us on Twitter at Zero API for our latest updates. Mm -hmm.